Good afternoon. I'm Beta V. Desai, Executive Director of the New York Taxi Workers Alliance, and um, I would also like to say on behalf of the Taxi Workers Alliance that we were really thrilled when we had heard that uh, Mayor de Blasio had nominated Mira Joshi for this post. We know her well from her work as general counsel and found her to be really fair and compassionate. Um, I really just wanted to make a few comments really about the significance of this position because as you know, taxi drivers are classified as independent contractors and so they're not protected under any basic labor laws. And so in the absence of collective bargaining agreement for independent contractors, in the absence of Fair Labor Standards Act, the Taxi and Limousine Commission is really all that we got to protect drivers' working conditions. And they have historically not only been a great source of frustration for particularly around issues of ticketing, you know, very heavy-handed enforcement against drivers um, to, you know, lack of due process rights within the courts, um, to also a source of frustration that of, of turning a blind eye to, um, to much of the exploitation that drivers face day to day. One of the reasons that we welcome um, Mira's nomination is because we, we found her to be a staff person at the TLC who looked at drivers with a sense of respect and understood that the work that these men and women do every single day is incredibly difficult and it's incredibly critical to the running of this city. And so really what we'd like to say publicly is um, we really call for a chairperson of this agency that is going to, re to be visionary and not be afraid of, you know, deep-pocketed interests on the other side, you know, taking policies apart with litigation and not using litigation. I mean, the idea of filing a lawsuit where there's not even a TRO that's been issued by the courts, allowing that to dictate whether or not you move forward with your policy, that, it, I think, is incredibly problematic and troublesome. And I hope that, you know, will change with um, Mira Joshi coming on as a chairperson. Um, you know, for us, the, um, the TLC, not, it sets the tone. You know, wealth doesn't trickle down, right, as we were told. But things like bigotry and prejudice, they do trickle down. They come from the very top. And so through the years when we've seen drivers be demonized or, you know, you know, the idea of you know, people being reckless when in reality they, have the, they maintain the safest driving records of all motorists in the city of New York, you know, the, the rhetoric has often not been in tune with the facts of the streets. And, you know, many times drivers have been singled out and have been scapegoated. And so, we, you know, we call upon, you know, Mira to be a chairperson who would really set the record straight, allow the facts and the numbers to, to govern the agency and to call for a truly understanding that a tale of two cities is embodied in few places greater than in the taxi industry. And we need a chairperson that's going to continuously stand on the side of the drivers. Good, good afternoon. My name is Bill Lindauer. I was a taxi driver for 30 years. I'm a proud member of the New York Taxi Workers Alliance, which is also a member of the AFL-CIO. We are here in New York, and we plan to go national, because it's one thing that unites taxi drivers, no matter how the system works in other cities, is exploitation. And for too long, exploitation has ruled this industry. Under, uh, before Yasky, drivers' needs and wants were rather ignored. All, all the administration would listen to was the unlimited greed of the taxi tycoons. It's time for drivers to be heard to be, and their needs to be met. And, and taxi tycoons always cry, so they should be ignored. I mean, and the, we're, we're all for accessible cabs, and I think the cost should be covered, but I don't think the plan proposed 
is fair to the public or the taxi drivers. They put the 30 cents on the meter. They said five cents for the driver to cover gasoline costs. That wouldn't even pay for a quart of milk, much less a four dollar gallon of gasoline. But we, I heartily endorse Ms. Joshi, and I recommend that the City Council unanimously vote in her favor. She'll make a very fine chairperson. Thank you, uh, Mr. Chair. Uh, my name is Mamnunul Haq. Uh, I am uh, the co-founder of the Text Workers Alliance and the board of director of the Text Workers Alliance. And on top of that, I was a full-time taxi cab driver in New York City and broke a longest period of time. And uh, I want, I heard uh, the hearing this morning and uh, the conversation with the chair, the council, and uh, Ms. Uh, Joshi. Uh, I personally don't know her, and uh, I, what I understand, my understanding is she'll be one of the best uh, uh, the chair uh, women of, this, of uh, TLC. We had a bad experience uh, because uh, uh, we are the people who organize driver. We started to organize driver and build Texas Workers Alliance. So I want to share a couple things, and which is really important. I think Mr. Chair, you know very well. Uh, while I was driving taxi cab, I had an incident that took my life almost. And the safety measure is really important for this industry because, and, and of course, this incident put me out of this business. And uh, you know, the last six years I work at NYU School of Medicine, and I cannot think that day like you know, and it's still some you know sometimes I drive Sunday, but uh, that experience is really really uh, dangerous. I when I think uh, you know the taxi driver who are driving 12 hours shift behind the wheel and taking all those risks. It's really dangerous. And I had been stabbed by a passenger, you know, through the partition in Brooklyn Heights, you know, in 2005, March 31st, just a few days ago, like, you know, this anniversary gone. So, but we tried to pass a, a legislation in the state level and the city level uh, for the safety of the taxi drivers. That's called Taxi Driver Protection Act. Unfortunately, it didn't happen in the state. Uh, Governor Patterson didn't sign 141 vote out of 141 in the assembly and 60, 40 and 160 vote in the state, you know, went to the favor of the bill, but he it, 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 it didn't sign this bill. So now I think this bill in the city council. And uh, so I am expecting from uh, the new chair uh, and she'll come up with some sort of safety measure for the taxi drivers. It is one of the dangerous job than any job in this country, even more than the policeman. So that's all I want to say. And uh, you know, I, I heard the conversations of the chair and the uh, Ms. Joshi about you know suspensions of the you know it's a big discussions, which is not uh, ethical. I mean, it is not. Uh, I mean, uh, particularly for the drivers, I. Know a lot of drivers in New York City, and the majority taxi drivers from Bangladesh, and I am originally from Bangladesh. So I know a lot of drivers lose their, you know, the license for a few days suspension because of wrongful arrest. So I think you, you know, City Council and the TLC will come up with some sort of better solution. Uh, and the, those driver hasn't uh, any, uh, uh, you know, guaranteed income, and uh, if, if the person wrongfully arrested. And you know, lose his livelihood is really, really uh, uh, pathetic. I mean, it's just, it's not hard, hurting on the driver; it's hurting the whole family. So that's all I want to say. Thank you. Uh, good afternoon, ladies and gentlemen. My name is Barry Ford Simmons. I am a cab driver, and I'm also an organizer with the Taxi Workers Alliance. I'm very proud to say, Madam, congratulations. A wise choice by Mr. Uh, Blasio, the Blasio. And uh, to the city council member, I heard you asking her some very, very important questions. And I really appreciate that, and she really answered you quite well. Especially with the part where when one gets arrested and is not found guilty of any charges, his license is suspended immediately. I have a son who has been uh, stopped in the stop and frisk program and was by a couple of plainclothes officers, 
And a uh, young man, as usual, very energetic, uh, didn't respond immediately because the officers didn't identify themselves who they were. And he was arrested for disorderly conduct. And uh, he has lost his license. And never really went back to get it, but you know, because he was so frustrated with the TLC. So I would uh, suggest to you that just look into that part of the industry because there are many drivers out there who have lost their livelihood because of uh, you know false arrests. And believe me, the police officers do not deal with cab drivers kindly when they're out there. Six and seven summonses at one time, I think is a pretty ridiculous. But anyway, uh, I've been in this industry for over 40 years, and I'm seeing cab, and I'm still driving, even though I have a very serious health condition because uh, Social Security can't take care of me. Uh, so I have to work at least three days a week. I have a kidney problem. A lot of drivers are falling out because of uh, health problems, heart attack, strokes. I know at least 10 drivers within the last I said nine months, who have died or have had a health condition. So I would ask you to look clearly into the health situation of the drivers. And to uh, look into the inspection sites and some of the, uh, the old rules that they have on the inspection sites, the uh, taking the driver off the road because he might have failed a little minor stuff on his inspection, uh, that you can look into because I think giving the driver 10 days to fix the car if it's not a, a, a serious uh, situation, you know, we keep the drivers on the road. And uh, you will hear from us quite a lot, and as you know, we're going to come to every meeting that you keep, and we're going to keep reminding you. So again, congratulations, and to the city council members, great questioning, and I thank you very much for the work that you guys are doing. Thank you. Thank you very much. Thanks for the great work. Thank you. Set a model for organizing workers in independent contractor industries in general. And we're still Thank growing. You. Across the country, I right hear. So we're lucky that we still have Biden be here to talk to you. Uh, all right, we did have one more person sign up to testify.